a lot of the changes have been happening on the consumer side and the societal side that organizations are, are behind. Right? They're just catching up. So, I mean, this is the same thing when email or chat first came in. We, we all used it, right? Companies banned it, but it was ridiculous, right? We have to get work done. Um, same thing with devices. People are bringing their own devices to work. So, I mean, we're kind of dictating how the workplace is moving um, from the bottom up right now. I don't think that's going to change. As new technologies evolve and as people bring those technologies into work, uh, I think companies have no choice. Uh, when you think about the convergence that's occurring in general, um, you know the, the change aspects in terms of not just the technology, but in terms of how we adopt change. Unless someone goes out and fully says, we're not going to do this anymore. I mean, maybe there, maybe there will be revolt, right? People will say, you know, I'm, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to provide my presence. There's one thing that I am very worried about, actually, is I think it is of the utmost importance that we preserve the right to be offline. If we don't preserve that, we will lose all our freedoms. It starts with our ability to be able to escape and being offline. And so we can't be punished for not being on offline. Right? For not being online, we cannot be punished. It's happening right now. We are recreating Skynet. We are recreating the Matrix. We are creating all the things that we will fear on our own. And if we can't protect that basic right of being able to be offline and being able to conduct a life offline, we're in trouble. We are in big trouble.